Hello friends. Welcome to this video on lines and angles. Today we will discuss the properties of parallel lines and transversal. We know that when two lines are intersected by a transversal, then different types of pairs of angles are formed. For example, these are pairs of corresponding angles. And these are pairs of alternate angles. In this, we call these alternate exterior angles and these are called alternate interior angles. And the pair of interior angles formed on one side of the transversal are called consecutive interior angles or allied angles and sometimes these are called co-interior angles friends if these two lines are parallel then that is if a transversal intersects two parallel lines then can we tell if there is any relation between the angles Let's draw two lines P and Q which are parallel to each other and a transversal N which intersects them at points A and B respectively. Now with the help of a protractor let's measure the pair of corresponding angles. Here you can see that angle 1 is equal to angle 5. Angle 2 is equal to angle 6. Angle 4 is equal to angle 8 and angle 3 is equal to angle 7. Now we can say that if a transversal intersects two parallel lines then each pair of corresponding angles are equal. This is what we call corresponding angles axiom. If a transversal intersects two lines such that a pair of corresponding angles are equal then two lines are parallel to each other. Friends, is this statement true? Let us check this statement. Draw a line PQ and mark two points M and N on it. Construct angle PMA and angle MNC on these points in such a way that they are equal to each other. Draw the lines AB and CD by extending AM and CN respectively to the other side of PQ. These two lines are not intersecting each other. We can also measure the distance between the line AB and line CD by making a common perpendicular on them. These lengths are equal at each place. That is why we can say that these lines are parallel. Therefore, the given statement is true. And we call this converse of corresponding angles axiom. Similarly, can you tell if there is any relation between alternate interior angles formed by the intersection of two parallel lines by a transversal? Let's say, we have been given that the lines are parallel, that is, angle PCD and angle MDB are corresponding angles. So they will be equal, and angle MDB and angle NDC are also equal, as they are vertically opposite angles. From this, we can draw the conclusion that angle PCD and angle NDC will also be equal. Similarly, we can also prove that angle QCD and angle MDC to be equal to each other. Why don't you pause the video and try to prove it? Now we can write our result as a theorem in such a way that if a transversal intersects two parallel lines, then each pair of alternate interior angles is equal. Can we call two lines parallel if the alternate interior angles are equal? Let's look at the figure. Both these angles are vertically opposite angles. Therefore, angle MRQ and angle LRS will be equal. And we have been given that these two angles are equal. From these two statements, we can draw the conclusion that both these angles are equal. Friends, kindly note, these two angles are corresponding angles. 
Using the converse of corresponding angles XAM, we can prove that lines AB and LM are parallel lines. We can write this result also in the form of a theorem as follows. If a transversal intersects two lines such that a pair of alternate interior angles is equal, then the two lines are parallel. Friends, that's all in this session. Today we discussed the properties of parallel lines and transversal. See you in the next video. Thank you.